the final section is why does it work? How does it feel? What are the benefits? Um, you have an endocannabinoid system inside your body, right? So no one taught this in school. It was discovered in the 1990s. And in that endocannabinoid system, there are two major receptors. These receptors are called CB1 and CB2. And they're throughout the body. And they're basically looking for cannabinoids, quote unquote cannabinoids, right? They're, they're affecting the sleep patterns, the appetite, the inflammation. This is what the endocannabinoid system is, is focused on, memory, mood, anxiety, et cetera. Um, and what you want to do is you want to get that body into homeostasis or balance. And so naturally producing cannabinoids, quote unquote cannabinoids and different things that are inside the body are attaching to those receptors and you're feeling good, you're feeling in balance, everything's great. When you're out of balance or your endocannabinoid system is not necessarily in homeostasis, you could manifest yourself into those things of sleep issues, inflammation, mood, et cetera. Um, and if you're not producing that internally to your body, you can supply your body with what's called a phytocannabinoid, phyto meaning plant-based, or a plant cannabinoid, which is what we're producing in our oil, full spectrum oils. We're producing those cannabinoids to come in there and help the body get back into homeostasis. When the body's back in homeostasis, it can actually help fight those other things that you're manifesting into, again, sleep and memory, memory loss, anxiety, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of how this works. So endocannabinoid system is why it works. CBD in and of itself doesn't cure anxiety. CBD in and of itself doesn't, what it does is it brings the body into the homeostasis, then homeostasis allows the body to, to take care of what it needs to take care of. If your body's deficient, this is that phytocannabinoid piece that I was just talking about. You can move those full spectrum oils into the body through a, a process of, of under the tongue, those different, those different methods we mentioned about but this is why your endocannabinoid system could be deficient. Poor diet, lack of exercise, pre previous or current drug use, environmental toxins, stress, lots of different things can cause the endocannabinoid system to be deficient. And again, if your body isn't producing it normally, internally by itself, you can support it with a phytocannabinoid. This is a disclaimer piece. This is, not, this is an independent survey, but we did a survey a large community of digital influencers and got about 8,000 responses back across about 42 states, and this is what they use CBD products for, anxiety, sleep, the things that most people know it for. That's what they're using it for. That's what they're, but again, it's going back to the endocannabinoid system. We have to help the endocannabinoid system get into balance and then let the, let, let the body do its thing. So that's the presentation. That's the CBD 101. There's a lot of stuff in there. Again, this is recorded for folks to listen to again, but the big takeaway is that CBD is not a product. Hopefully you saw that in those last, those several slides. CBD is a category of products with quality and potency variations, right? You need to understand what you put in your body. You need to understand, take, a, take the tests, <laughs> get, the, get those, call up the customer service, get the test results, dig in, figure this stuff out. Make sure the brand is actually focused on return policies. Look at all the different pieces. Make sure the brand actually has product liability insurance. You're putting this in your body, especially for doctors and different things. So, so this is a very key important piece is that when you're looking at CBD or hearing CBD all over the place, it has tremendous variations. 